Hey YouTube, Shook and Shelby here with a review of the Kamen Rider Wizard DX Excalibur. Uh, released in April, Kamen Rider Infinity Styles main weapon. And it is all sorts of cool. As you can see, it's huge. It, it doesn't remotely even fit in my camera frame. I have to go all the way back to even show off all of the box. So, thanks to the power of pictures, here is the front of the box, as you can see. With Infinity and the Ring and the Excalibur and all that fun stuff. The top shows off a pretty cool little banner of Infinity Styles. While the bottom shows off basically Infinity Style and the uh, contents of the box. Both sides of the package consist of Infinity Style pictures. And what is in the box while the back shows off all of the functions which isn't actually that much. But enough to make it a cool toy. So before we do anything, here is the Infinity Wizard Ring. Um, it's a little bit bulkier than the other uh, style rings. It's wider, definitely, as well. Um, but you got nice clear blue plastic here. You can see everything inside um, the, the chip that sends off the signal and stuff is right in that little bubble right there along with the LED. It is a nice blue LED so you don't get that orange washout like some of the magic rings. And overall it's a very cool looking ring. Uh, like I said it is pretty big. Um, I don't think you could feasibly wear it really but um, I did put one of the um, extender rings on there because I was having fun with it the other day. So pretty neat all and all. Very cool. Uh, so, bam, wizard driver. So, he sui fu do bo saba byun dogon is the full little transformation tune. And that is the main syllable for all eight of his forms, the four uh, elements and the four dragons. So that's a pretty neat way to uh, kind of describe how Infinity is the, um, kind of encompasses all of his forms and all of his elements and all of his strength into one form. So it's a cool little jingle, and I do appreciate that. Um, obviously, there are some kick strikes and uh, specials. So you do get the dragon sound you would normally get with the dragon formation along with a little infinity jingle. Since he doesn't really have an element, he just has a little jingle. I like to think his special would basically just materialize the wizard dragon and it would eat stuff, but that's just me. And of course, functionality in the wizard sword gun. So it cycles through all the element noises, and he sweet food dough is the little jingle on there. So really cool. Now let's take a look at the axe caliber itself. It is a massive weapon. I pulled that box out of my shipping box and was like, damn. No, really, I was. And like at first I thought, well, there's probably uh, material packing on the the. the the two sides it can't be that big and really it was pretty much egg carton to egg carton on that um that box so there really wasn't too much excess space in the box which was surprising to me i was not expecting this massive of a weapon i mean here's the blade portion of the axe and here's my hand uh so you can kind of see where i'm going over this granted my hands are small but 
Um, it's a pretty massive toy, and I have to give it props to that. Granted, when you flip it around for the caliber mode, it's pretty dinky. Uh, this is your blade, and it kind of sucks. Um, the one in the show really isn't that much bigger. Um, his blade mode in the show is kind of dinky, too. But, um, it, it's still not too bad. It's just not really the preferred weapon of choice. But when you flip it around to the axe mode, you get a pretty massive blade portion here because um, it's heavy too. Because all the electronics and LEDs are in this portion right here, along with all the solid rubber. So you've got quite a massive front on here. Uh, and I think that's incredible. I really do enjoy that. Uh, so it feels nice in the hand. Um, my hand's actually probably a little bit too small. But... Um, Feels comfortable, feels nice. It's not overly heavy, but it has just enough heft to feel like a very cool weapon. Uh, granted, you can hold it a little bit lower. Um, I don't know how I feel about the fact that you have to hold a blade to swing around an axe. But it's a common rider. That stuff doesn't matter. Uh, so you can hold it lower if you want to. That uh, doesn't really affect anything. So if you flip it on... All four of the LEDs will activate um, yellow, green, blue, and red throughout this larger portion up here. Now, when you turn it on, you're stuck in uh, caliber mode. So this button and this button don't do anything at all except make that little brrrr noise. Um, but this one will activate some sword slashing noises. So you get two sword slashing noises, and the red LED comes on. So nothing too crazy in this mode. Uh, there is a sensor right here where Wizard's logo is, um, and that's kind of neat. Um, the, the, the thing is, the Wizard Rings don't activate it. See, not, nothing's happening whatsoever. You need the Infinity Wizard Ring in order to activate the Axe Mode. You cannot use any other Wizard Ring, at least that I've tested, that works. So if you pass the Infinity Wizard Ring over it... You get that awesome little jingle and turn on, uh, which is very, very cool. Now, if you flip almost activated high touch, flip it around, this trigger now will make all of the noises. So... Still only get two attack sounds, but it cycles through the four LED colors. Which I think is very cool. I love colors, I love lights, I am a little child. And that uh, certainly gets me going. I, I do enjoy um, having multiple LEDs in a toy. Very cool. Uh, you can keep passing this over. It just activates that noise. It doesn't do anything special. Um, but that is it for the base functions. For his final attack, Shining Strike, what you do is you have to basically high-five the sky. Um, or rather this. Um, you don't have to be wearing the ring or anything. Just hit the button. <laughs> Kira Kira, which is basically like a shine kind of thing. Kira Kira Sekai and stuff like that. So all four LEDs will be activated, giving you a nice kind of like a purpley color as it kind of mixes the colors of the lights, which is very cool. Nothing changes after a Shining Strike. Now, there hasn't been used in the show as of episode 33, I believe, but um, there is a Plasma Shining Strike. You have to hit the High Touch button five times. Same Kira Kira. Alright, so you get another attack noise, and it's Plasma, I guess, is, like, stronger or something. I don't know if he's even ever going to use it, but it's in the toy, so... Uh, fun times. And then, from here, to switch back to Caliber Mode, hit the trigger up here. And it'll turn off, so now you're back to non-axe mode. 
So that is actually it for uh, for this, this this toy. Um, very basic in terms of uh, functionality. And that's actually okay. It's a toy that impresses mostly based on size and if you're like me, the LEDs. So um, if you want to pick it up, definitely worth it. Um, the functionality, like I said, is very basic. You only get the two sounds in the axe mode, the two sounds in the caliber mode, um, and then the two uh, shining strike noises. So you don't really get too much in the way of noises. But like I said, handling the weapon is just very fun. It's a lot like the Samurai Mega Blade. Um, not too much in the way of functionality, but it's just impressive based on how great of a weapon it is. Plus, the heft is a nice little factor as well. I can actually see a lot of kids having trouble not lifting it, but kind of swinging it around like you would a toy. Uh, just based on how heavy that front part is. So, very impressive part. I like the ring. I like the weapon. Um, have a lot of problems with Wizard as a show right now. But um, I have to give props to them for making a very fun toy that I am very, very glad I did decide to pick up. I was kind of on the fence, but the Infinity Wizard Ring kind of won me over. But I ended up loving the toy way more than I thought I did, so definitely recommended. Um, I think Ami Ami has it for like 4000 ish Retail, I think, is about 6000 I picked this one up for, I think, 5000 So kind of right in the middle there. Definitely worth it no matter what price you pay. Uh... I'm certainly, I got a kick out of it. And I just noticed there's chrome here too. I didn't really point that out. Yay, chrome. Woo. So you can check out shukenshinobi.com for latest updates on my reviews, hauls, and the toy release schedule. And of course, check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, the podcast for the latest token news in the craziest way possible. And you can buy this and more Kamen Rider Wizard merchandise at cstoysjapan.com. So take care. Have a great one. Bye.